the ball at the Blue Devil 38 yard line. Hartman fakes the throw down the seam. Ja'Cory Roberson touchdown Wake Forest. Offensive line's ability to keep him clean in the pocket. He's about three yards behind the line of scrimmage when he throws that. Ja'Cory Roberson wins down the field. It's a great job of Gunnar Holmberg climbing in the pocket, getting out, finding Jake Bobo. Here's Mateo Durant's first carry of the day. Durant into Wake territory, down to the 42-yard line. Kalen Carson, the stop for the Deacons. And you're going to have opportunities to settle down and deliver the football. Here's Durant, another carry, hits the cutback, 20, and tripped up at the 23, 24-yard line. Third down and a full seven for Wake Forest. Hartman, straight drop with time, now flushed to his left. And he will throw back, and did Chapman hang on? He did at the 24. Brandon Chapman, the fifth-year senior, hauls it in against the linebacker Ryan Smith for the first down. Great third down play coming out of the end zone. Just the fourth catch of the year for Chapman. Here's Hartman going to gun it downfield looking for Williams. Did he hold through? He did. In Duke territory and a first down at the Duke 40 for Keyshawn Williams. See every single game is how competitive they are at receiver when the ball's in the air It is their football. It's impressive the concentration like tracking a meteor. Yeah, exactly Second and nine Boy Hartman great balance now gonna run with it first down and more ten five touchdown for Sam Hartman Yes, we don't talk much about the legs of Sam Hartman, but that is certainly a massive weapon for him the drag route clears the linebacker out there. There's nobody there with man-to-man -man coverage on the back end, and he outruns the middle safety to the end zone. The legs of Sam Hartman have proven to be useful a number of times for Wake Forest this year. He shows the speed, but, I mean, they've gotten a ton of yardage on their inside zone plays early in this game. Here's Holmberg. Cuts it loose. Middle of the field. That's Jared Garner, the catch. A stiff arm, 35-40. Garner toward midfield. Forced out of bounds into the Wake bench area. Durant. Hits the cutback, first down into the wake secondary, down to the 32 before Anderson makes the stop again for Coach Clawson's club. Morin's at the top, singled up. Hartman. Now we'll keep it again. He's already had his career best run. Now he's going to do something else. 15, 10, took on a man at the 7 and plows out of bounds. It'll be first and goal at the Duke 6. We'll check it out, come back and tell you about it in a moment. A little more predictable where you're going to go with Perry. It makes it easier on the cornerback as they're lined up to go again. 11th play of the drive. Here's Hartman again. Nobody home, and he will score on the ground again. All the other options are covered, Roddy. On one is covering the defenders, the receivers downfield. It's two is accounting for the quarterback. Everybody's got their back turned. In. Pretty impressive. I'd love to see that. <laughs> Maybe our next visit. Right. Here is Durant. Big seam. Flag thrown is Mateo Durant. And the ball got knocked loose. And it's recovered by the Deacons. Travion Red comes up with the fumble. Duke coming into this game was tied for worst in the league in terms of turnovers. Lost something that had been familiar to Duke fans from years past. It's a great job down the field. It's good every day of the week, honestly. <laughs> Little wide receiver you for A.T. Perry, huh? There you go. Here's Hartman looking for Donald Stewart who makes the catch. Back to back, Roddy. <laughs> Your phone, I'm sure it's lighting up in the text chain about wide receiver you. That one a great throw. Do we have Dime City or something like that? Because Sam Hartman. Here's Hartman moving right. Quick throw, touchdown. Keyshawn Williams in the end zone for the second time this year. Mario Roberson, excuse me, Donald Stewart to the outside. The hesitation by Williams. And again, it's the timing. It's the fact that by the time... College football playoff top 25. Massive question. Where will Wake Forest be? Mm. I think they got a shot to be top 10, to be honest with you. Hartman looping downfield. It's caught. Jamal Banks inside the 10. Here's Hartman. Wanted to load now. Bales and back shoulder throw. Banks a sliding catch at the three. What in the world, Roddy? How did he get that off? <laughs> that oh one miss wants to find it. Didn't he? Unbelievable. He's been great. Yep. Deacon fans will hang that one on Old West. Yep. Here's Holmberg. He'll be sacked back at the 16. 
not with a road win on a three-game losing streak. There was an intentionality heading into this week. You're just not seeing it yet. And it's going to be three and out, Roddy, for Coach Cutcliffe's squad. Likely to be a top ten team, very close, if not a top ten team when the first rankings come out. Hartman in trouble, and the Blue Devils get to it. To create some separation on some of those routes. Here's a third down for Hartman, and Duke bringing five. Hartman going to cut it loose for Perry over the shoulder and caught inside the 20. First and 10 for Wake Forest. This time, he doesn't use the strength. He uses the quickness off the line of scrimmage, the technique, holding his line and then falling away. And a nice catch for A.T. Perry, who uh, we were told, you know, kind of favors himself like one of those uh, gas stations. Well, and guess what? Christian Beal Smith scores standing in the end zone on the first play after it. Look at the offensive line. Everybody latching on. A nice seal on the outside by Devontae Gordon on RJ Oben. Here's Turner in the ball game. And look at this. Same play. Turner, a shoulder fake, and into Duke territory. Wow. Nate Thompson saves the touchdown. You just go to the same split zone, and it's out the front door again. Almost the exact same place. Here's Hartman. And a sack. And that time, Mausi fights his way through for the second time they've gotten to Hartman here in the third quarter. Skiba's try, perfect. 38 nothing Wake Forest. Five minutes to go in the third in Winston. By the way, congratulations to NC State's women and to Notre Dame's men on capturing those championships. There's a catch, and Roberson back in the game. Looking for those matchups, find him. You got A.T. Perry and Jaquari Roberson at the bottom, Taylor Marin to the top. There's a Hartman lob, and this is A.T. Perry. At the 20 and pulled out of bounds by Johnson. Too easy for A.T. Perry. Wins at the line of scrimmage. Get that hand off me. A little shot to the shoulder of Leonard Johnson. <laughs> Here is Hartman rolling, throwing, and caught. Moran inside the 10 to the 5. And that is a Wake Forest touchdown. We are eight seconds old in quarter four in Winston-Salem at number 13 in high gear. They've only allowed 123 yards on the ground, 233 yards overall against a, a Duke offense that can be dangerous. Jackson Hensley, Pikeville, Kentucky, deep to return, and not Wilson's best effort, but we got a flag thrown in late. And the ball is downed at the 26, but the marker came from over in front of the Wake Forest bench. Lloyd Nagasum, Naya, at right guard, Devontae Gordon, those guys were excellent today. There's a throw and a catch, that's Cameron Height. And the ball popped loose, and it is Duke's ball on the turnover. Blue Devils recover it. Ryan Smith, yeah, that's a, I mean, you got to secure the football there, big fella. It was filming and watching when, yeah. when the phone got hit. Yeah, the ball. Good it, timing. Good timing. That made the IG, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Up on the ground. Great. Live action. Here's Leonard after the holding call, fighting to the 22. Yeah, no kidding. Yep. And then toward both the Manning brothers, Daniel Jones, obviously. Yep. Riley Leonard getting some reps here as we get to the 47 yard line on the run. and for them to have success because you know he's one of our he's one of our our favorites there's a slant route Calhoun loose working to the backside Jalen Calhoun down at the one yard line you're wondering why is it five getting the ball more Riley Leonard touchdown for Duke with 717 to go and his first collegiate score was Riley Leonard on the ground Carolina and Wake shouldn't be having to schedule non-conference games to play each other more than once in a blue moon. Amani Marshall around the edge, first down, and into the bench. And a handshake with David Cutcliffe. And the Deacons are 45-7 to winners here tonight at Truist Field.
Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.